YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Steph. Um, I got a question, got a guy submitted his question through at stephiscode.com. Make sure you guys uh, join the Patreon. I'm um, links in the description if you want more content. So let's dive into it. Um, He says, I've been dating this girl for two years. She says she loves me and cries over me. But in the beginning, I asked her, did she have um, intercourse with a guy that I've always had competition with? And she lied about it. She lied and told me no the first time. Then six months later, in a random conversation, she says she know a guy that is buffed with the with a uh, big digging stick. And she started laughing, then finally told me it was him. And she saves the messages from when they talked and compared to him to me a few times. What do you think it is? It's a game. Uh, it's a game. And um, hopefully it's not like a committed relationship or nothing like that. I just farted. Whew. Hopefully it's not like a committed relationship or nothing like that where y'all like exclusive or something like that but um it's just a game bro it's all a game that's what these women do they they play games they it, it, they play games they they play let's see how many times i can manipulate this dude before he can get with me before he can think that i want him and she she toying with you, and then it's like you're in competition with another guy. You should never be in competition with nobody. You should be dominating the competition. You should never be in competition with no other man. What? Alphas don't do that, bro. Where they do that at? You should never be in no competition with no dude, bro. And a woman, and I'm going to tell you this, dog. A woman should never talk about another guy around you. Nip that in the bud. If it won't, hey, hey man, hey baby girl, you, you you talking too much about another dude. Um, this is me and you time right now. I, I really I ain't got nothing to do with him. So you if I was you, I would stop talking about him in front of me. Unless you just want me and you to just stop doing what we're doing right now. Like, bro, you gotta put your foot down. And that's what's wrong with a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are such nice guys, man. Y'all don't put your foot down. Y'all act like it's a crime to put a woman in her place. Man, you got to tell a woman what it is, fam. You ain't got to be uh, uh, overly aggressive about it. You can do it in the most masculine, in your frame way. Real talk. You can do it in the most alpha way. Just like how I said it. And you want me talking about other chicks around you? Other chicks who 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 I, who I didn't dug out? Nah, so respect, respect, my, respect my authority. You got to get. Yeah, we the prize, right? But you got to carry yourself like you're the prize. It can't just be, oh, I'm the prize. Okay. How's the mindset? How's the way you're talking? Your swagger, your aura. Like, that. you have to carry yourself in that way. You have to carry yourself in that way of saying that you're the prize. It has to be, your frame and your aura has to be that all the time. And for a woman, for you to be in competition with another woman, that don't look like no prize to me. I ain't going to be in no competition with no other dude. I mean, not woman, but dude. What? Never. I'm never finna be in no competition with no other dude. What I look like? My name is Steph is Cole, G. That's how you got to carry yourself. And then if she is, if she is bringing up dudes like that, that's when you put put her on ice. But if you dating a chick, you got to have options while you dating. Because I'm going to tell you this. She got options. She got options. She got hella options. You got to have hella options as a man. Point blank period, fellas. You got to have options. Men need to really, if men want to get in the dating game, if you want to get yourself in the dating game, bro, it can't just be approaching chicks in person. Especially with this pandemic going on and things going on, bro, you got to get online. You have to get online. Instagram, Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, like you got to get online. They got plenty online dating sites, bro. You got to get online, bro, because I'm going to tell you this. We ain't, the economy ain't opening back up no time soon. I mean, gyms in Texas are opening back up in Monday, but they're talking about 25% of capacity. You know, people are people are all blue-peeled anyway, so ain't nobody going to come to the gym wearing, wearing masks like I said. That's going to stop the virus, blue-peeled people. Spread it by the, the, the media propaganda. They don't even understand. So, you know, they scared. They ain't finna come out. You got women that's scared as a mother. They don't even want to come out their house. But it just shows that, man, she don't find you that attractive. And you on to the next one.
You're not going to run into a lot of chicks. Depending on what you do with your life. Like myself. I don't run into a lot of chicks in person. Unless I'm going to my busy event or I'm going to the gym or the store. I don't go to the club. I don't go to the bar. So I, I'm, I don't run into chicks. Like multiple chicks all of the time. But you can bring you can bring your name out there. That's why we live in social media, fam. Like you can you can bring your name out there in the social media age. You can't get chicks on social media with no profile picture. Talking about your name is Easy E. Got an anime face as your profile picture. They ain't got no pictures in your stuff. Do ask me, man, why did the girl unfollow me? I mean, bro, you have no pictures of yourself. You weird. You weird. You can't be weird on social media. No weird stuff. Right? And you can't be in competition with no other dude. I'm not in competition with nobody but myself. I'm trying to do better than what I did last month. That's my goal. Not I'm trying. I am doing. That's the mindset you got to have. Put a woman on ice. Y'all be afraid. Y'all live so much in scarcity that if y'all say something to the, to the, to the woman that y'all with or the woman that y'all dealing with, y'all afraid that she going to walk away. Who cares? That's that scarcity mindset, though. A woman would rather you put her in her place than let her walk over you because she respects you more. That'll make her come back even harder. You could dig her guts out even harder, but if you keep playing. You, you keep just messing around. You keep on letting her do what she want to do. That's nice guy tendencies, man. You ain't got no principles about yourself. You stuck over this one chick because you got that one-itis. She ain't got one-itis. Right? She ain't got one this, man. Get yourself back out there in the dating game, man. Put yourself back there out there on the market. We ain't in the 1980s no more. People was on social media. People was on online dating sites. And yeah, your, your, your chances, you might not get a lot of matches. But you need to maximize your potential on a certain amount of chicks you're going to get. You have to be online. Yes, your looks have to be apart. So what do you do to get your looks apart? Work on yourself. Self-improve yourself. If you don't want to self-improve yourself, bro, that's on you. You're going to stay ugly. That ain't got nothing to do with me. If you don't like the way you look, bro, you are a man. You can really do something about it. You could really, really change your life, bro. But that's all on the individual. That's all on you. Right? A lot of guys, a lot, I'm going to tell you this, fam. A lot of guys ain't going to get it. A lot of a lot of guys is not going to understand. A lot of guys ain't going to get it, bro. And guess what? I'm not mad at you, dog. You ain't going to get it, bro. Hey, you ain't going to get it. That's on you. I get it. I get it. And I'm learning every day. I don't know everything. I'm learning every single day. But a lot of y'all been listening to a lot of channels and y'all still the same. Y'all still the same. Y'all still make the same crazy mistakes. Gotta do better. Can't let no woman run over us. We can't let no woman tell us that we in competition with another dude. What? She's supposed to be in competition with other chicks because by her nature and her being jealous and envy, she's already naturally competitive. I'm not gonna compete over no dude. What I look like? I'm not that. That's the mindset you got to have. You don't have to win her over. She got to win you over. That's the mindset you got to have. That's the mindset how you can become hypergamous. But it all starts with you working on yourself. It all starts with you working on your mindset. A lot of y'all want like quick fixes when it comes to women in life. Ain't no quick fix in this world. Ain't no quick fix when it comes to women. Ain't no pickup line, fam. Stop that. Ain't no pickup line. There is no pickup line. Stop. Work on your social skills. The better your social skills are the, and the better your confidence become, the better you are at talking to random chicks. Start at the grocery store. Start at the gym. Start at the clerk at the gym. When you checking out with your, with your food, I mean, with your, with your, with your uh, protein shake. Hey, how's your day going? Spark up a conversation like that. Then over the course of years, you get better at holding conversations. Talk to the, to the, to, to the, to the, um, not the waiter, but the um, whatever the whatever the thing is called at, at the um restaurant, right? 
The server. To have a conversation with the server if it's a man or a woman. Y'all social skills suck. Y'all can't talk. Y'all. How you doing? She got some big kids. Mm. Mm, they got big ass. Like, acting beta. Acting out of frame. Slow down some, G. Alright? That's the video for today, man. Don't forget to like my video, man. Alright? Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy.